Martha has a straight A plus average and you know it. Yes, I do. But Martha is a Mexican. I better resign my job, but I'm not going to do this. Oh, so that's the matter. The school management wants to give the scholarship jacket to John. But that's not fair. Martha is the topper and everyone knows that. What about Martha? How will she feel about it? Did she hear the argument between her teachers? Let's take a look. That was such a cruel coincidence that I overheard my teacher's conversation when I came to collect my shorts. How can they do this to me? My history teacher, Mr. Smith, knows my struggle, and he was supporting me. But why is Mr. Boond favoring Joan just because her father is on the board? I can't believe this. I couldn't move myself. As I stood there listening to my teacher's conversation, I couldn't hear anything further. The pounding in my ears drowned out the rest of the conversation. Mr. Smith was very angry with my math teacher, Mr. Boone. He left the class angrily and went the opposite way towards the auditorium. Luckily for me, he didn't see me at the door. What am I going to do? Tell me, friends, who will I reach out to? No, this is so sad. How will Martha bear this injustice? She had come to collect her shorts. She ran inside, grabbed her bag, and fled from the room. Mr. Boone was still inside the class, but he did not say a word. Martha says she couldn't recollect what happened for the rest of the day. She was so sad. She went home and cried into the pillow so that her grandparents wouldn't see her crying. The next day, Martha was called by the principal to his office. She knew very well the reason behind him calling her. The principal looked uncomfortable and unhappy. But Martha decided that she was not going to make it easier for him. She looked straight into his eyes. But he looked away and fidgeted with the papers on the desk. Let's listen to what he has to say to martha martha there's been a change in the policy regarding the scholarship jacket this year what is it so as you know it's always been free this year the board has decided to charge 15 dollars which still won't cover the complete cost of the jacket what should i do so if you are unable to pay the 15 dollars for the jacket it will be given to the next one in line I'll speak to my grandfather about it so and let you know tomorrow. That was such an insult for Martha. Principal knew the financial status of her family. He made use of that opportunity to screw her up. That is called injustice. Poor Martha cried on the walk home from the bus stop. And by the time she got home, her eyes were red and puffy. As soon as she reached home she asked grandma where grandpa was she avoided looking into her grandmother's face so that she wouldn't see her red puffy eyes grandma was busy sewing in the quilt and didn't notice her sad face she told martha that grandpa was in the bean field martha went out and saw her grandpa walking in the bean field he was a hard working farmer he was walking between the rows of plant with the hoe in his hand martha slowly walked up to him trying to think how she could ask him for the 15 dollars there was a cool breeze blowing and there was a sweet smell of the mesquite fruit in the air but martha didn't appreciate anything She wanted that jacket somehow. It was more than just being a class valedictorian. 
It represented eight years of hard work and expectation. She knew she had to be honest with grandpa because that was her only chance. He saw her shadow and looked up. Grandpa, I have a big favor to ask you. This year, the principal said the scholarship jacket is not going to be free. It's going to cost $15. I have to take the money in tomorrow. Otherwise, it will be given to someone else. Martha put across her need to grandpa. He straightened up and leaned his chin on the whole handle. Is it thinking something? He looked out over the field that was filled with tiny green bean plants. Martha waited desperately, hoping he would say that she could have the money. But he turned to her and asked her a question. What was Grandpa's question to Martha? Let's see that in the next class. Moon lecture the Lerever in the Chodi Trangle, eight to Unkuranjil Sondamakuan, wouldn't then download you. Yen Claps, the learning app.